Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Crystal and in today's video I'm going to be talking about premenstrual exacerbation. Now premenstrual exacerbation, otherwise known as PME, is the worsening of symptoms of an underlying disorder like depression or anxiety in the premenstrual phase of the menstrual cycle. So conditions that can become worse in your premenstrual phase would be depression or anxiety. There's also evidence to suggest that diabetes, epilepsy, um, migraine, headaches, asthma, as well as things like other mood disorders and eating disorders can also become worse in the premenstrual phase of the cycle. Now premenstrual exacerbation is very new. I mean, I think most doctors and researchers know that it is definitely something that happens, but they just don't know how many people it affects. So the really important part of premenstrual exacerbation and the really important thing to know is that symptoms of the underlying disorder are present all throughout the menstrual cycle, but in the premenstrual phase of the cycle, symptoms become worse. So for example, if someone has depression or anxiety, they are going to experience those symptoms throughout their cycle, but when they get to their premenstrual phase, they might have a worsening of symptoms. And so I just wanted to make that really clear because premenstrual exacerbation can often get confused with PMS or it can get confused with PMDD. And while you can have premenstrual exacerbation as well as those other conditions, it is a condition that affects an underlying disorder. It doesn't cause any symptoms, rather it just worsens symptoms in the premenstrual phase of the cycle. Now, unfortunately, premenstrual exacerbation is not a recognizable, diagnosable condition yet. Now, what I mean by that is it's different in the way that PMS or PMDD have like a diagnostic criteria. At this time, premenstrual exacerbation doesn't necessarily have a diagnostic criteria because it can affect so many different conditions. And so it's really hard for doctors and researchers to come up with a criteria for diagnosis because it kind of changes based on the condition. One thing that is really good to know is that researchers and doctors have realized that when someone presents with premenstrual exacerbation of a disorder, the best treatment plan is to treat the underlying disorder rather than the worsening symptoms. So for example, with depression, you would want to treat the depression um, and maybe you have to make some changes to the treatment plan um, according to where the person is in their cycle. And so treatment can vary. Um, but if you believe that you are experiencing this or you do have a condition and you feel like it does get worse in the premenstrual phase of your cycle, I definitely recommend starting to track your cycle, track your symptoms, see where they are, see what's happening, see how they change in your premenstrual phase. And if they worsen, that's obviously like a concern. And when you have this information, you can then go to your doctor and tell them, I think my condition is being worsened by my menstrual cycle. Like I think my symptoms are getting worse in my premenstrual phase and I think this is called premenstrual exacerbation, um, what can we do to make this better? As always, I just want you guys to know that there is hope out there even though this might not be a um, very like clean cut <laughs> diagnosis, but there's ways of ruling out other things going on to get to a diagnosis of premenstrual exacerbation. So don't give up hope, you will be able to find someone that can help you and there are a lot of resources out there. And what I will do is I will link some resources in this video below. So so you can have access to like cycle tracking resources, but also resources on premenstrual exacerbation. So you can just learn a little bit more about it. Again, like I said earlier in the video, treatment really depends on the condition you have. And it's really important if you are struggling to ask for help because you're not alone and help is out there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Um, premenstrual exacerbation was something that I just recently learned about. It's something that um, I didn't realize could, could happen, but it definitely can. And I think it's really, really important to talk about it. So as always, your cycle matters so, so much. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.